Why is the new age so deceptive? What makes it so deceptive? Why is it the biggest threat currently to the church of Jesus Christ? How is it seducing people? How is it deceiving people? What even is the new age? Well, I was in the new age for many, many years. And praise be to God, I was plucked right out of the depths of it so fast you could hardly believe it. But if you know my testimony, you know that it was a true miracle God saved me. And he pursued me like no other. And literally, my stubbornness and my unbelief had no match against God. But the depths I was in, I knew so many other souls that were there, most of which came from the church, most of which grew up in the church, most of which were Christian. But somewhere along the line, they realized that Jesus Christ is just some enlightened guy and that the whole Bible is a deception meant to control people. That doesn't just happen in an instant. It's a slow progression of how the devil gains access to someone's mind. And it's through things like tarot cards, psychics, mediums who speak to the dead, crystals, uh, uh, transcendental meditations, Buddhist meditations, yoga, yoga, to be yoked with, universal consciousness, that's what it means, or Brahma, they call it. It's an entirely spiritual discipline, not just stretching, not just physical exercise. It's a real religion. And many other things that entail the New Age. But what the New Age predominantly is, it's, it's a, a belief system that grounds itself in ancient texts, ancient scriptures, ancient beliefs, but with a modern twist, with a quantum physics twist. So you'll hear the word quantum in New Age a lot. It's about raising your vibration, increasing your energy, ascending your consciousness, expanding your consciousness. A lot of psychological terms. So when people go through psychology or they go through um, yoga or, or studying spirituality, it's very easy to fall into the New Age because the deeper questions obviously come about and the most popular thing now is New Age answers. The church no longer dominates the realm of thought in spiritual circles. If you're atheist or agnostic and you are curious, just like me, chances are you're going to end up in the New Age. And what's so seductive about it is it makes you feel so like you're on to something no one else is on to yet. That's what draws people in. That's how the devil draws people in, just like the occult. You might as well call it the new occult because that's what it is. Everything that's in it is the occult. It, it, there's incredible supernatural things in the New Age, just as supernatural as in the church many times. You know, I had people who could quote-unquote speak to the dead who knew things about my relatives I didn't even know, about my uh, passed away relatives that I had to verify later. Insane accuracy. Because these demons are real. And these demons are watching people and these demons communicate with people either out of deception or willingly. And this person thought they were doing a great thing helping people uh, reach their past dead family members. This person literally thought they were doing a good thing. Little did they know they were channeling demons. And all their lights would flicker and stuff like, whoa, they're, they're, they're here. It was crazy. But I thought it was fascinating, you know. I'm like, whoa, there's something to this. You know, I grew up an atheist and agnostic. These spiritual things is even like weird to even think about. You know, we just came from a bunch of random explosion of atoms. There's no point to life. And then, you know, obviously that doesn't add up. So it lures you in with this secrecy, like you're onto something no one else is onto yet. The Bible, oh, that's been around for thousands of years. All these people believe in that. There's no way that's the truth. Only a select few know the truth. This is just like Gnosticism. And the book of Colossians was used to address a big portion of Gnostic teachings during that time. This is not this is not some type of new thing. This is just branded and marketed in a new way. The devil's using this to to build that one world religion that's going to be, oh, there's many ways to heaven, not just through Christ. So you can say God all you want, but the second you say Jesus Christ, that's a big no-no. Because the second you don't know about who Jesus Christ actually is, all else falls into place. In the New Age, he's an enlightened person. He's an enlightened human. And you can reach the same Christ consciousness as he did. But he's not God. He's not the Savior. He wasn't resurrected. If he did resurrect, he just tapped into some supernatural ability that we can all tap into. 
So the new age makes you feel so powerful. And just like the deception of Adam and Eve at the garden, that you can be like God. That God's word is not the truth. It's the same deception now. New Agers believe yoga, you can merge with God. You can merge with the universal consciousness. They literally will say they believe in God, but they don't believe in Jesus Christ. They believe that their soul can merge with God. But regardless, so it's this, it's this spiritual discipline that feels so limited and exclusive that lures people in and gets people so prideful. It's so hard to witness to a new ager because they think they're so right and they think you're so wrong. You know, it's the case for others, but it's especially true in the new age, especially because they're so involved with the supernatural. They're so intertwined with the demonic and they have no idea. So these demons have such a power over their mind. And if a new ager comes to Christ, they're going to need serious deliverance, serious deliverance. Kundalini yoga with that serpent going up your spine, causing enlightenment. Come on, come on. That's straight Satan. I'm a certified yoga instructor. I don't teach it anymore, but I literally have a certification to teach yoga. Hundreds of hours of training. Went to Thailand to train in yoga. Went to China, hoping to learn from a Qigong master. I, I was obsessed with this stuff. I wanted to know the secrets. And I didn't know about Christ. I didn't grow up with Christ. And that's with so many souls now. So understanding the new age is so essential because people who get involved in it will slowly stop talking about Jesus. They'll slowly stop, you know, start losing their love for the word. And they'll slowly start be believing in their healing journey, their inner being, their inner self, their inner light, awakening to who they truly are. All these little buzzwords that sound so fluffy, but compare nothing to the power of Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit and fellowship, intimacy with the Holy Spirit. That is the best possible thing anyone can have. There is not many ways to heaven. There's one, and it's through Jesus Christ. And his love is real. His mercy is real. It's powerful. It's the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. This is the great truth. Lies will abound. Lawlessness will abound. Deception, doctrines from demons will be accepted. And it's happening one by one. People are getting plucked off the church by this deceptive new age. They're getting into yoga, thinking it's all stretching and fun and games. It's not. It's not. Yoga was literally channeled to these ancient sages in India by divine revelation. Channeled directly from demons. Spiritual teachings from the ancient texts called the Vedas. And the Bhagavad Gita, which is the Hindu Bible, this is real deal stuff. There's a whole pantheon of gods and goddesses in Hinduism directly tied to yoga. Bhakti yoga, interaction with those demons. That's what, it, that's what it is. Kundalini yoga, it's the serpent up the spine. If you go just for stretching and physical exercise, that's amazing. But call it something else. Because a lot of those poses, they're not just activating organs and healing the body. Some of them are actually worshiping demons. And you don't want to worship demon. You're going to give the devil a legal right to get into your mind and slowly insert seeds of doubt. This demon will slowly insert seeds of doubt into you and you will eventually, seven, ten years later, what happened to my faith? You're away from Christ and you're a huge new ager without even realizing. Close all the doors. Close all the open doors. Live a sold out life for Jesus. Get filled with the Holy Spirit. Be on fire. Be filled with love, grace, power, and do God's work. Cut down deception. Be discerning of deception. Study the word. Study scripture. Sharpen your knife. So you don't fall prey to any of these little things Satan's trying to throw at you. And you can help others who are slowly falling into it. Because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life.